Damn. Okay. Damn, we're good. I couldn't believe it. I was stuck there with my jaw slacked open and rocking this dopey ass smile all the while, low key cackling at my own text. And just when I thought it couldn't get any funnier, I sent her a picture of my keyboard. I told her it was a pineapple, but it was just my keyboard. I was fried, I swear my brain just stopped working for a while, like a literal hour. I felt so stupid, honestly. I knew that I was incapable of texting and being high at the same time, so I literally decided to turn my phone off completely. An hour later, I still felt stupid. An hour before that, I told myself I would just go to sleep. I can't sleep knowing that there's a barrier. I can't sleep not knowing. Honestly, I think I know at times, but then I remember that I honestly know nothing. I'm upset. But I'd rather feel that than nothing. Come back. It's not a bad upset either, it's a good one. A restless, stagnant, sandpaper mattress man. The kind that stands up to you and hugs you and says you can and you should because I won't go away until you do. He's a dick actually. That stagnant, sandpaper mattress man is. I wonder how she feels about me. I'm still wondering how I feel about her. I don't know what's worse, being impatient or being scared. Scared and impatient are the recipes for anxious fits and insomnia and tears and fuck, so much fuck. Chill. Chill. I definitely care about her. I asked her my question, the one I kept changing. It was, at what point do you tell someone that you care about them? I changed it to, at what point do you let someone know that you care about them? Better than my dumbass did last night.